Hello there everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and we're back for another wee video tonight and we're back for the video on this knife and this is a Fura knife um, lovely shape, really is just a lovely shape um, I'm going to set it down because I'm going to do the measurements before we do anything else get this lined up <clears throat> this knife doesn't really have a name um, it's called, as in by Gearbest, it's the Fura Gear Outdoor Portable Folding Knife. And it comes in the black and it comes in a light khaki. And I suppose I really should have got the light khaki, but I find them khaki G10 does tend to show the dirt a lot. And this is a work knife and I'd rather it didn't. And that sounds a bit pathetic, but there we go. That sounds a bit good for me, doesn't it? Just my, my phone dropped a wee bit there. There we go. Now, this is why I got it. I got it because of that wee knife. I got that wee knife about a year and a half ago. And um, OCD is playing up. <laughs> I got the, that wee knife about a year and a half ago. And I loved it. And it came under the Fuhrer gear, I'm sure, as well. And it was S35VN. And this is just another... Look at the, the blade thickness. This is just a wee bulwark. It is just a wee grunt. And that should have been called the grunt because that's what i i think it is it's just a grunt of a knife it's a real wee working knife that you grab in your hand and you just know you've got the power to do whatever you want within that wee knife look at that black stock now we'll measure it all up first as i say and then we'll give you uh, a rundown of what it's like and what it's not so it's one two three four five six seven and a half inches long which is a good size, you know, and between seven and a half and eight and a quarter is my real honey spot. So what's that in? So that's about 19 centimetres, just over, no, about 19 and a half centimetres. And the blade length is just under eight centimetres, about seven centimetres cutting length. And it's about two and a half centimetres cutting length, or two and a half inches cutting length. So that's the size of it. The back of her is, let's just check the spine of her and see what that is. No, can't see it. No, let's just have a wee look at that. Right, she's just over an eighth and she's nearly four mil. So um, good thickness and across the back here, she is, where is she? About five eighths. Yeah, about 5 eighths and about 14 mil. So again, good sturdy knife. They have, she's, she's liners and they're good thick. If you see that, the good thick liners. Let's have a look. The good thick liners on her. And she just buttons up lovely there. Buttons up lovely. Just a real good stocky work knife. That looks different than everybody else's out there. That's what I like about it. It's the shape of it. It's that sort of that you see ones out there, rhino horn. They look like rhino horns. This is to me. That's that's what it, this looks like a rhinoceros coming in for the charge. Right, that's enough. I'm getting excited now. <laughs> I'm getting carried away. What weight is she? Let's turn her on and see what weight she is. Now, come on, machine. Right. So we've got grams. I don't know whether you can see that. I don't think you can actually. Oh, there we are. If I do that, you'll see it. Grams. She was 158 grams, 0.8. So she's no light, light girl. Let's take her down to inches. And she's 5.6. There we go. 5.6 inches. So a good size and a good weight. Not over heavy. There's no pocket clip on this knife. It doesn't come with a pocket clip, but it's a good big lanyard. There. This is one thrown in your toolbox or in your... Um, your cargo pants this is a real it it just is it just wants to work it doesn't there's nothing fancy about her although saying that now i'm saying there's nothing fancy she actually came let me get a bit of telephone paper she actually came razor sharp for you know a big bulky thick knife i haven't touched her up She's really still sharp. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of work with her this week, but that's still cutting telephone paper. Nearly as good as it was at the beginning of the week when I got the knife. So, what's my... Uh, 
what's the comparisons what's it look like um let me just show you some knives for a comparison here sorry i'm all three together here tonight right there we go there's the first one there's the tenacious and she's near enough the same size as a tenacious I tend not to see these now this is another great work knife the tenacious it was one of my first knives the kids had got for me at christmas time and it's just a great knife a great work knife that People tend to look past now just because it's 8 or 13 and everybody thinks that's really bad steel, which I disagree with, but there we go. I'm probably in the minority now. Um, this is another nice real steel. This is the H5 Gerfalcon. Um, another knife that's an absolutely awesome little knife. Now it's a bit bigger than that, but this is an awesome knife that you never hear much of now. They're all into these different ones. This is really, really a lovely knife. And lastly, let's have one more and we'll have one of my favourite Ganzos. It's the 761. Yes, the F761. And I would say it would be a bit bigger. It's about an eight and a quarter. Yeah, there we are. It's about an eight inch. That is another lovely, great, big work knife. But when I put these two together, right, there's more blade in this. There's no doubt about that. That was great for slicing cardboard. This will get tore into anything. If you're, this is D2, by the way, um, whereas this will be 440C. And the other one was 14 uh, CR28, and the Tenacious was 8 CR13. So this is D2. If you're a spark and you're going to hammer through wires and do whatever, You'd have no problems with D2 in this. It's a, it seems a pretty good D2. Fury Gear hasn't really come up with a bad one yet. That I've had. I've never had a bad one. It's marked there in large letters. D2. And they seem to be pretty good with that. So, I mean, there we go. Uh, is there much more I can say about it? No. If you want a beater knife. If you want a, a tool bag knife. If you want a knife that you're going to just throw in your kitchen drawer for, for use at anything. This will do anything. I would dig with this in the ground a bit. It's just that sort of a knife. And with D2, you know you can get the edge back on it again. Or it can be a bit difficult sometimes, but I don't find D2 that difficult, to be honest, to bring back. So, there we go. That's it. I, I, to be quite honest, I'd just be waffling on. This is just a rhinoceros ready for work. I would call this the grunt. That would be my name for it. Um... If you've got any better names, put them in the description. Give me a giggle. Um, thank you very much for watching, folks. I shall go away now and cut something up just for the hell of it. That knife makes me want to go and do something. That's what it does. So, take care. Wait for a wee cup of tea. Bye-bye now. Bye.